Amantani is an island in the Lake Titicaca near Puno and that's in the south part of Peru bordering Bolivia and if someone wants to, to, to do something different, see a different lifestyle, how people live in the, that part of Peru, um, they should go and visit that area. People are very friendly, it's very safe, uh, the food is, is safe to eat too and you can walk around at 2 in the morning without worrying that anything's going to happen to you because everybody knows everybody. It's a very small community, the Amantani. I think they live in a paradise because the area is really beautiful. It's clean air. There, there, there are no cars. Uh, everything they get around just walking. There's no pollution and they also recycle. You can work on the fields of the potato, of the quinoa. You can, learn, you can help the family. Uh, cook a meal for you in this wooden uh, kitchen and um, just have a beautiful view of what Amantani and Puno is. When we arrived at Amantani, uh, this teacher talked to the family member in Amantani and uh, explained our plans. We wanted to stay for a couple of days and we wanted to learn and live how they live. So it was a family of um, of five, it was the dad, the mom, the two daughters, and the little girl, the granddaughter. The women of the family, they take care of cooking, and then the, the father uh, takes care of working the land, working the potatoes, working all the vegetables that they grow. Uh, the family uh, made us some dinner. So they made us a soup with vegetables that they grow, uh, vegetables and quinoa, and also some fried cheese with some small potatoes that they also grow and a tomato. It sounds very simple, very basic, but it was very filling. We didn't need anything else to eat. And, and also we, they, they offer us some muña tea. Muña is very popular to drink in that area. The kitchen was very small and it was uh, with wood. They, they cook with wood. They don't have electricity and they don't have um, gas so it's just with wood. The room was in a second level it was very small and cozy. All the rooms of the house had a, little, a, a window that will go directly to the lake so you have this wonderful view of the of the blue lake and the blue sky and you can see part of the island and the mountains and the grass and it was just amazing it was really pretty. A chuyo is a hat um, made with uh, wool and it can cover your ears so it's like a pointy long hat that covers your ears also in so they dye the wool with natural dyes and they get they have these beautiful flowers in their houses they're very colorful they have like bright pink bright yellow or, or they also grow herbs that also helps to dye the wool so they will their the colors that they will use will will, will be very uh, colorful and very bright and and also the green tones and the brown tones will come uh, with the herbs that they also grow. Yeah, so if you go to Peru, you can find Marriott, you can find all these luxurious hotels over there, and you can stay there, and you can stay in a four-star hotel and have all the, the comfort that you will find in, in here in the United States. But you can also do a tourism where you can stay with a family and live how they live, and, and, and just, uh, it's, it's still very comfortable, it's not going to be luxurious, but it's going to be a different experience and it's definitely worth visiting.